Hi guys, happy spring. Finally feels warm out, right? So we are reporting today from our Oyster Bay location. How do you know we're in Oyster Bay? Because the walls are pink, which is awesome. So I wanted to take a second to uh, talk to you guys today about springtime and the warmer weather and what that means because this time of year, everybody's looking for the weight loss thing. So I want to make sure that you guys understand how weight loss works just to make sure you guys are doing it the right way. So the first thing I want you to understand is that Everyone loves to focus on weight. We get that totally. But you really have to think about it. Weight's not the problem. Weight's the symptom of the problem. So if you're micromanaging the symptom, the problem's not going to go away. So your goal really shouldn't be weight loss. Your goal should be to improve something that's inhibiting your weight loss. So instead, say, my goal is going to be to exercise a little bit more. My goal is going to be to eat breakfast. My goal is going to be to cut out some of the junk foods, to get back on the big dinners, maybe not go out as much. And when those are your goals, that equals weight loss. When your goal is weight loss, nine times out of ten, you don't really um, choose actions that are in line with those goals. And then what ends up happening is you end up losing it and gaining it. And then sometimes you're like, well, why bother eating healthy? And we never want you to have a moment of that. So focus on the problem, not the symptoms. So the things that are causing you to not lose weight, not necessarily the weight itself, okay? So maybe instead would be a good thing to say to yourself, you know, did I eat well for the most part this week? If I had a slip up, did I get myself back on track? Did I drink my water? Did I exercise? And if you could say yes to all those things, I could care less what the scale said, you had a great week, but you can't keep having weeks like that and not see the scale go down. So that's where your focus should be. So focus on the problems, don't micromanage the symptom of the problem, all right? The second thing I want you to understand is how real body fat loss works. When we go on these, these kind of more traditional diets, in the beginning especially, you lose a lot of water, you lose a lot of muscle, and those things weigh a lot, they're heavy, but they don't take up very much room. Now body fat, isn't as heavy, but it takes up a lot of room. So a pound of body fat is right around the size of a coffee mug. It's pretty large. A pound of muscle or a pound of water is much smaller than that. So if you're used to losing muscle or you're used to losing water because you're going on these more traditional kind of diets, spatially, that's gonna be equal to about half of what you would be talking in body fat. So for example, let's say you, you're really trying to do everything the right way and you lose five pounds of body fat. Spatially, that's going to be almost like you losing about 10 pounds of water or muscle. So if you have somebody maybe doing like a low carb diet and they lose, you know, maybe the first 10 pounds that way and you're doing it, you know, kind of more the right way to try to keep it off, that would be spatially like you losing about five pounds. So sometimes we get focused on these numbers, but you have to really understand what you're losing. So body fat takes up a lot of room even though it's not as heavy as water or muscle. So that's another reason you don't want to focus on the number too much. Um, if you have access to a place like Nutritionist where you can get your full body composition, that would always be ideal. Um, so, you know, if you, if you do want to come in to check yours out, you can always give us a call if you live locally and we'll, we'll test yours for you. The last thing I want to talk about when it comes to losing true body fat, true weight, is knowing what you're looking at. You have a lot of fluctuations if you are looking at your weight. So sometimes when people look at their weight, they look at it like, let's say you weigh... 150 and you're looking to lose then you get to down to 149.2 or then you lose you know get down to 148.5 and then maybe you go up a little bit and down your weight fluctuates throughout the day so instead of kind of micromanaging when you're looking at the number you know just to kind of figure out a metric instead of looking at the number very literally you want to look at it a little bit more objectively so you want to figure out your range so everybody has a range of weight that they see for themselves so you have a higher number and you have a lower number so let's say your 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 number fluctuates between 148 and 151. The goal then is to see that range get lower. So then maybe you'll see your weight fluctuate between 147 and 150 and then between 144 and 146. So the fluctuations and the ranges go down. So again, don't micromanage to the point. We've kind of been trained with a lot of the commercialized diets to expect that and it can kind of derail us sometimes because that's really not the way that the body works so much, okay? So just figure out your range, like within a three pound range about your, your higher number and your lower number and then just make sure that that range is going down, all right? So we don't want you to micromanage manage the number, you know, to begin with, focus on the, the problem, which is, you know, your habits, not necessarily the symptom. But when you're looking at your weight as a metric, look at it in terms of ranges, not so much by the point, just because, you know, you could be wearing heavier clothes, you could have an extra glass of water, it could be a different time, you might have too much salt that day. There's a lot of variables that go into it, so you drive yourself absolutely nuts if you go about it trying to, you know, look at it, you know, as clearly as that. Um, and again, that can, that can derail people, which we don't want. 
And then the last thing we want you to be aware of, like we said, is the difference between losing true body fat and losing water or muscle. All right, there's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. It takes a lot of work to get that off. Good news is it takes just as much work to put back on. So when you lose it the right way, it stays off. Okay, but don't be discouraged by all that. Just focus on your habits, focus on all the good stuff you're doing, and eventually you'll be at the place you want to be, and then you won't have to do this 100 times for the rest of your life. Nobody wants to play with the same 20 pounds 30, 40, 50 times, all right? So I hope you guys all enjoyed the warm weather. Have a very happy spring and summer, and check back next week for a brand new video. All right, check us out online, www.nutritionish.com. You can check out the tips, article, and ideas section of that tab, and you'll find a whole brand new place where you can find an entire database on everything nutrition. All right, and if there's anything you would like to know, you can also shoot us an email at michelle at nutritionish.com, and I'll be sure to cover that topic for you. All right, enjoy the warm weather, guys. Go out for a run today. All right, bye.